Hello YouTube, this is Esplan237, and I'm going to respond to the, uh, the questions on my last video, or the comments, where I asked Ron Paul supporters, um, how, if both the Democrats and Republicans are against Ron Paul, um, almost all the establishment is against Ron Paul, how do they think he's possibly going to actually be able to change any of the massive things he wants to change? Um, outside the wars, uh, which I do think he could change uh, relatively easily, I don't think that'd be very hard to uh, change, but other than that, how, how do they not see that only his, only the bad policies that Republicans want will actually go through. None of the good things Libertarian wants will be able to go through because everyone he's surrounded with, surrounded by, is going to fight him on everything. And since he doesn't believe in voting himself ridiculous executive powers, he, he can't bypass Congress um, or the Senate on anything because he... he he fundamentally doesn't believe in giving himself more powers than he already had. You get what I'm saying? So, um, and I got a lot of comments that had nothing to do with the question I was asking uh, at all. People don't really... I mean, to be fair, I ranted and went on, on a few topics, but... The, the, uh, and then I got some, uh, I'll say, fair... Uh, comments, but let, let's go down the list, and I'll let you decide, and I'll, I'll respond to them. Uh, the first comment was, um, "What inconsistencies are you referring to, and what smears have been proven true?" Um, first, what smears have been proven true? Because uh, clearly, any criticism of Ron Paul is a smear. The guy's perfect. He's Jesus. Um, Inconsistencies, uh, earmarks, he takes them, argues against them, uh, gay rights. He, he, he's not consistent on how he talks about that. Sometimes he seems to be saying um, the state, the government should have no say in gay rights at all. Uh, sometimes he seems to be saying that the state should choose. Um, sometimes he seems to be saying that the church should choose. Uh, I, I don't... Uh, inconsistencies, we might just say incoherencies, because he's not always saying anything. He, he, he'll go, you'll ask him about something, and then he'll go on about inflation, or about fiat currency and the gold standard. Like, he, he it's not just inconsistencies, some things he's simply incoherent on, um, the the earmark thing, you know, he does take earmarks. He will sometimes take pork or put pork in bills. But again, if if he would just say, I don't like the way the system is, but I have to do what I can for my delegates, that'd be fine if he admitted it. But he, you know, he's inconsistent on that. Um, if you're referring to the newsletter, there was an investigation done by. Wait, are you are you talking about those racist newsletters? Uh, sorry, but it's been shown that he at least vaguely knew about the racism in those newsletters and didn't really do much to do anything about it. I'm not saying he did the newsletters, uh, but he didn't seem to give a fuck, you know. As for the other things, like the tweeting from his campaign and the Facebook, I genuinely believe he had no idea what was going on there. I don't think he knows what a tweeter is. <laughs> I, I don't think he has any concept of these new technologies. But in terms of the newsletters, yeah, I think he knew what was being said and didn't care or agreed. But is that what you really think my criticism of him is? I could care the fuck less about that shit. He's a wealthy, white, right-wing guy. There's like a 90% chance that he's a little bit racist, at least. That's just the field. I, that's like such a tiny thing in why I'm not a Ron Paul supporter. Like, if I liked his policies and he seemed like kind of a racist deuce a little bit, like, I'm not... Dude, I'm a black guy. I, I deal with, you know, 
white people in superior situations being at least a little bit racist all the time. Like it, it's just par for the course. I, I don't know what you, why you think that's the important part of this. And here's what's funny: you have uh, uh, Walt Williams along with Nelson Linder, the president of the NAACP in Austin, Texas. Uh, D.L. Hughley, prodigy of Ma Deep, I don't know who that is, um, have all stood up for Ron Paul, and even Farrakhan. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, Farrakhan's a little racist, <laughs> uh, but uh, or a little extremist at least, but that's beside the point. Uh, quoted him about the system of Federal Reserve. All right. So, what the hell does that have to do with whether he's racist or not? There, there are plenty of people of any color that'll back up a racist if they either are deluded enough to think he's not racist, or maybe they really don't think he's racist. Maybe he's not racist. That's not the point. Like, that's so fucking irrelevant. I don't care if he's racist or not. He's gonna enact policies that will make it easier for businesses to discriminate. Like, I don't care if he's personally racist. What do I care? Like, again, I couldn't elect anyone, or, or a vast amount of people, if I couldn't elect anyone who I suspect might be racist based on some newsletter that someone in their administration did. Like, are you retarded? Why would you think that that's my problem with Ron Paul? I don't like that about Ron Paul. Some of his comments seem a little bit racist or at least um, bigoted in that they're not malicious, but they're clearly ignorant. So, I mean, I think anything Ron Paul said that was racist is much more likely to have been bigoted in that it's simply based on an ignorance of, or a naive, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if he's racist, I mean, I care, but I don't, it's not what I'm against him about, and if he was, I would, it would be racist based on ignorance, not on malice, I, I don't, he doesn't seem that malicious to me, um, um, and as for, I'm skipping to the very last comment because it has to do with this too. Uh, for Liberty uh, 888 typed, you are so right. Here is his racist rant caught on tape. Finally busted, oh my god, Ron Paul is exposed. Okay, first of all, based on the caps, I thought you were going to be some idiot that I was going to have to argue against. I thought you were going to put me in the difficult position of actually having to defend Ron Paul. Uh, luckily, that the you were being sarcastic. Unfortunately, you're still stupid, because none of this video... Uh, apply my last statement to you. Uh... You're dumb. Why are you type putting that in? This wasn't a video. This title of this video wasn't. Isn't Ron Paul a racist? Don't you guys see that you're projecting? You're or or not projecting. Like it would be like if I walk up to you and said and said, um, is that your daughter? And you're like, no, but I'm not a pedophile. It's like, whoa! I didn't say you were. What the hell are you talking about? That's what you're doing. I I don't... Fuck Ron Paul's racism. What is with you Ron Paul people? I just mentioned Ron Paul. It's like, he is not a racist. There was a Saturday Night, uh, uh, Saturday Night Live or Mad TV clip where <laughs> this um, doctor was trying to get a job at this um, psych, psych ward. And he's like, uh, it's supposedly of his Dr. Rorschach, and he was showing the Rorschach paintings for the first time. And he showed it to his superior, and his like, superior's like, oh my god, how dare you show me pictures of naked boys, you know? Like, <laughs> like the, 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 the boss in each Rorschach picture kept seeing naked boys. And, and the guy's trying to explain, no, you see what you want to see. And he's like, I would never want to see naked boys. I am not a Pedophile. Again, I only bring that. I'm not saying 
anyone here is a pedophile. I'm saying you're doing the same thing. You're like, he is not a racist. And I'm like, uh, I suspect he might be one, kind of based on some of the stuff he says. But it, uh, that wasn't, that's not my thing. I'm not, I don't call Ron Paul a racist. I mean, at some point I may have said something in another video. Or I may have alluded to the fact, or unless you you guys think I'm t the civil rights act. No, I'm saying he is naive, and the things he does will lead to more bigotry, whether he's racist or not. You're projecting. You think he's racist. You think he's racist, and you're projecting that on me. I don't care if he's racist or not. Okay, are we done with the racism thing? I don't. Jesus. All right. Uh, ne uh, next comment. Uh, oh no, nah, that's the Scott Hutch. I'm gonna deal with him in a second because he's got an assload of just comments that are fucking retarded. And almost I've never I didn't claim half the things he says, so I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Um. Uh, now post surge operative. I actually agree with him on this, and this is my problem with Ron Paul's position on race. I don't think he's racist, but he does have... He does... Alright. This is what post-surge operative... People need to wake up to the fact that Ron Paul is a full-blown neo-confederate. I don't know about full-blown, but he's pretty close to that because of how much he... When he does talk about civil... When he talks about um, the Civil War, he really pushes the whole states' rights thing. Either uh, he espouses all the classic ideas of the lost cause of the Confederacy tradition. He openly claims the southern states had the right to secede and that the Civil War wasn't about slavery. His ideas about sound money have long been a theme of the lost cause ideology. The elite northern Jews control the banks, don't you know, sort of thing. And the state's rights constitutional argument is the foundation for neo-confederate belief. That kind of is true. But again, even if Ron Paul himself isn't racist, almost... Mm, he... It would be like walking around with a confederate flag on your or driving around with a confederate flag on your car and then being like what it's just about the south no it was about more than that i mean you can be a jackass and pretend that it was just about states rights if you want but people are gonna think you're racist even if you're not um i don't know what to tell you that's just reality it Okay, I already I already responded to Omar the Pug, but I'm going to read his comment again and um, read my response to it, because it's important, because Ron Paul supporters have some sort of nervous twitch about this shit, and it's driving me crazy. You should watch the Obama deception. Any good Ron Paul supporter would have uh, known Obama to be a fraud and known that the economy would collapse and the wars wouldn't end. I can't see by why anyone would vote for Obama again, but if that's your thing... Dot, dot, dot. Okay, first of all, many good Ron Paul supporters believe the Loose Change film is accurate. That 9-11... What do you mean any would have known Obama to be a fraud? Many of the Ron Paul supporters now were former Ron, um, Obama supporters who, because Obama didn't deliver on the change he promised, they went to the third party. You can't do that... Uh, hindsight fucking bullshit. You know, like... No, they wouldn't. Um, I don't know where you're getting that from. That's just an assertion. And the facts actually go against that. Uh, the facts are in stark contrast to that. And the uh, Ron Paul supporters who were Republican wouldn't have voted for Obama because they're Republican. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, um, my response was... Oh, and another thing. Fuck Obama. I'm not voting for Obama. He lost my vote when he approved the NDAA. He, I'm not voting for him. 
Why do why every time do I mention Ron Paul do Ron Paul supporters bring up Obama? V- fuck Obama. Why do you think I love Obama? What the hell? Why can't I criticize Ron Paul without you bringing up Obama? I don't give a shit about Obama. Okay? They have nothing to do with each other. It's like if I criticize Christianity and you're like, "Well, what about Islam?" I'm not Islamic. Uh, Muslim. I don't give a shit about Islam. Why are you... I also criticize Islam. Why are you bringing that? You're the same people. You're that person. You're those Christians who come in and say, well, why don't you criticize Islam? Because I'm not talking about Islam right now, you dumb fuck. That's not what we're talking about right now. I criticize Obama vehemently. Okay, um... That's it for all of the uh, people who commented on my page uh, on that video besides the Scott Hutch and Rational Roundtable. Um, Their uh, comments require a little bit more uh, refutation and or clarification. Um, So I'm actually going to put that in the next video and it's going to be much less of a rant, much more of a discussion. Um... I also want to clarify that not only does Obama have nothing to do with this, um, in terms of the Republican field, if I had to choose between the Republicans, of course I would choose Ron Paul. I mean, except for John Huntsman, everyone else in the group of Republicans that are campaigning right now are either out of their mind or just evil to an unbelievable degree. Like, Gingrich is evil. <laughs> Harry is evil. The other ones are just clowns. But those people don't disappear into vapor when a Republican gets elected. They're still there influencing the government. And if a Republican gets elected, they have more influence than if a Democrat got elected. And regardless of what you think about Ron Paul, he's running as a Republican because on most of the social issues, he has Republican stances on it. That's just the way it is. So, um, yeah. Until my next video, try to make the world a better place, and I will too.